हेलो मैम माई फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ टू राइट कंबशन इक्वेशन्स ऑफ सॉलिड फ्यूल एज वेल एज गैसेस फ्यूल्स बाय वॉल्यूम एंड बाय मास सेकंड क्वेश्चन इज हाउ टू कैलकुलेट थेरोटिकल और मिनिमम मास ऑफ एयर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर कंप्लीट कंबशन ऑफ सॉलिड फ्यूल सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम थर्ड क्वेश्चन हाउ टू कैलकुलेट थेरोटिकल और मिनिमम वॉल्यूम ऑफ एयर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर कंप्लीट कंबशन ऑफ गैसियस फ्यूल्स सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम कंबशन ऑफ फ्यूल इज द केमिकल कॉम्बिनेशन विथ ऑक्सीजन सो टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस केमिकल कॉम्बिनेशन वी विल फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड दिस टेबल so in this table first column is for substance and for that substance we have to write the symbols and then atomic mass and molecular mass so when the atomic mass of any substance is known then we can easily calculate the molecular mass now we will take the first substance as a hydrogen so hydrogen is having symbol h2 now what is the atomic mass so atomic mass that means the mass of one atom so for atomic mass of hydrogen is taken as one but now if we observe here the symbol that is h2 that means the molecule of hydrogen is the combination of two atoms so this suffix to indicates the number of atoms in particular molecule so in the molecule of hydrogen there are two atoms and for that two atoms that is each having atomic mass 1 so what is the molecular mass so for h2 1 plus 1 that is 2 now in the same way we will move for the next substance oxygen now oxygen is having symbol o2 but what is the atomic mass of oxygen so it is 16 but if we observe the molecule of oxygen is having two number of atoms because o2 suffix 2 is there so what is the molecular mass that is 2 times of 16 that is 16 plus 16 that is 32 now we will move for the next that is carbon so carbon is having symbol c so if the atomic mass is 12 now here suffix 1 is there that means molecular mass is also same so i will write here there is a dash because uh, atomic mass and molecular mass is same now nitrogen so nitrogen symbol is n2 so n2 that means there are two number of atoms in molecule of nitrogen so atomic mass is 14 and molecular mass 14 multiplied by 2 that is 28 now next is sulfur so sulfur is having symbol s and atomic mass 32 and here only one atom is there so i will write here dash then carbon monoxide so carbon monoxide is the combination of carbon and oxygen so here we must know what is the atomic mass of carbon and atomic mass of oxygen so carbon is having 12 and oxygen is having 16 so 12 plus 16 that we have to add that is 20 so remember when the atomic mass is known then we can easily calculate the molecular mass so we this table is important so these are the basic elements that is h2o2 c n2 s and from that we can easily calculate the molecular mass of other elements now there is the methane so methane is ch4 so methane symbol is ch4 that is carbon one time and hydrogen four times so if we how to calculate its a molecular mass so it is easy that is carbon 12 plus 4 into 1 12 plus 4 that is 16 now acetylene so acetylene is c2h2 that is two times of c and two times of h so two times of c that is 24 plus two times of h that is 2 so it is 26 then carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide is co2 so one time of c that is 12 plus two times of o2 that is 32 so 12 plus 32 that is 44 then sulfur dioxide that is one time of s and two times of o so sulfur s is 32 plus two times of o that is 32 that is 64 so this atomic mass as well as molecular 
molar mass is important to study the chemical combination of fuel with oxygen. There are two types of fuel, solid fuel as well as gaseous fuel. Let us first understand what is the combustion equation of solid fuel. Now this combustion is nothing but the chemical combination of fuel with oxygen. Now we will consider when the carbon is having combustion with insufficient oxygen then carbon monoxide is getting generated. So how to write this equation? So for that there is the carbon plus oxygen but this oxygen is not sufficient and that's why carbon monoxide is generated. So I will write here on the right hand side there is CO. But we have to balance this equation. So how to balance this? That is carbon plus oxygen. So oxygen is always we have to write as a O2. That means there are two atoms and on the right hand side we have to write carbon monoxide that is CO. So if we observe here this O2 that is two times oxygen is there. So we have to write here two times of oxygen. And we have to balance carbon. Now on the left hand side there is only one carbon and on the right hand side there are two carbon. So I will write here as a two times of carbon. So 2C plus O2 is equal to 2CO. Now we have to write the equation. So there are two types to write the equation by volume as well as by mass. So first we will take by volume. So there are two molecules of carbon. So I will write two molecules of carbon plus one molecule of oxygen because in one molecule of oxygen there are two atoms and two molecules of carbon monoxide. So this is the we have to write by volume. Now we will write by mass. So for that we have to consider here the molecular mass. Now two times of carbon that is carbon is having atomic mass that is 12. So two times multiplied by 12 plus O2. Now O2 is having atomic mass 16 but molecular mass 32. And two times of CO. Now carbon plus oxygen that is carbon is having atomic mass 12 plus 16. So 12 plus 16 that is 28. So two times of 28. Now we will solve this 24 plus 32 and here 56. Now we will simplify this. So I will divide for this whole equation by 24. Now 24 by 24 that is 1. So here by mass is there. So I will write here 1 kg plus 32 by 24. So if we simplify we will get here 4 by 3 kg. And 56 by 24 that is 7 by 3 kg. Now how we can write this equation? For the combustion of 1 kilogram of carbon, 4 by 3 kilogram of oxygen is required and it produces 7 by 3 kilogram of carbon monoxide. Now in the same way we will write the next equation when this carbon monoxide is getting combusted with oxygen then it will produce carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide that means CO2. So we have to write here CO plus O2. Now CO carbon monoxide is having combination with oxygen O2 and it will produce CO2. Now we have to balance this. So if we observe here is O2 already there. Now O is there. On the left hand side single O is there. So if I multiply here with 2 then on the right hand side 2 multiplied by 2 that is 4 times O is there. So here if I take here 2 CO then here 2 times of O plus 2 times of O that is 4 times of O is getting balanced. And here 2 times of carbon and on the left hand side 2 times of carbon is there. So we can write this as a chemical equation that is carbon monoxide combines with oxygen and it will produce the carbon dioxide. Now how to write this by volume? So by volume we have to write here are two molecules of carbon monoxide plus one molecule of oxygen and it will give two molecules of carbon dioxide. Now we will write by mass. So how to write? Now carbon monoxide that is carbon plus oxygen that is 12 plus 16 that is 28. 2 multiplied by 28 plus oxygen. So oxygen that means here 32. 
16 multiplied by 16 multiplied by 2 that is 32 it will give us c that is 12 and o2 that is 32 that means 44 so 2 multiplied by 44 now we will solve this with the help of calculator so 28 multiplied by 2 that is 56 plus 32 and it will give us 88 now we will simplify this so i will divide here the both sides with 56 then here 1 1 kg plus 32 by 56 that is 4 by 7 kg and it will give us 88 by 56 that is 11 by 7 kg now how we can read this so 1 kilogram of carbon monoxide combines with 4 by 7 kilogram of oxygen and it will give us 11 by 7 kilogram of carbon dioxide. So this is the, in this both way by volume and by mass we can write the chemical equation or we can say that the combustion equation of the solid fuel. From this chemical analysis of fuel we can easily calculate the amount of oxygen by volume or by mass for the complete combustion of 1 kilogram of fuel. Now how to calculate the theoretical air required for the combustion? So for that we have to first calculate the amount of oxygen that is by mass or by volume required for the combustion of 1 kilogram of fuel and then we can easily calculate the amount of theoretical air required for combustion. Now we know that this air that is the atmospheric air is the combination of nitrogen, oxygen, so some amount of carbon dioxide and other gases. So for the calculation purpose how we can decide this composition of air. So whenever we consider the combustion equation by mass then we have to take composition of air as nitrogen into 77% and oxygen O2 23% by mass. Now theoretical or minimum air required for complete combustion of 1 kilogram of fuel. So here direct final formula is given and we have to use this formula. Now this is important, here only solid fuel is taken, theoretical or minimum air required for complete combustion of 1 kilogram of fuel. So this 1 kilogram of fuel that means here solid fuel is there and we have to consider the composition of air by mass. So whenever solid fuel is there we have to consider this composition of air by mass because 1 kilogram of fuel is there. Now what is this formula? So you have to note down 100 by 23 in the bracket 8 by 3 C plus 8 H2 plus S minus O2. Here bracket complete minus O2 kilogram. Now we will understand this. Now 100 by 23 is the particular constant number. Now C that means carbon. So we have to take 8 by 3 carbon plus 8 H2. H2 is hydrogen plus S that means sulfur. Now we have to add all these elements. So in solid fuel these elements are present. So when the, any element is not present then we have to take here as a zero. And whether if the oxygen is also present in the solid fuel then we have to subtract here the oxygen O2. And then if we solve this then we will get here the theoretical or minimum air required for the complete combustion. Now we will solve one problem for the combustion of solid fuels. I will read what is the given question. A fuel has following composition by mass. Carbon 86%, hydrogen 11.75%, oxygen 2.25%. Calculate the theoretical air supply per kilogram of fuel and the mass of products of combustion per kilogram of fuel. So this was the given question. Let us first understand what is the given data. So here the composition of the solid fuel is given which contains carbon 86%. 
Now 86 percent that means 86 divided by 100. So we will write here 0 0.86. Hydrogen 11.75 percent that is 11.75 divided by 100 which is equal to 0 0.1175. And oxygen 2.25% that is 2.25 divided by 100 that is 0 0.0225. So this is the given data. Now we have to calculate first question that is the theoretical air supply per kilogram of fuel. Now because of solid fuel we have to take per kilogram that is for 1 kilogram of fuel what is the amount of air supply in kilogram. So here we have formula that we have already seen. So formula is 100 by 23 in the bracket 8 by 3C plus 8H2 plus S bracket complete minus O2 kilogram. Now if we observe here carbon that is present, hydrogen that is present. Now sulfur is not present. So we have to take here S0 and oxygen that is also present. Now we will put the value. So 100 by 23 is constant, we will take as it is. Now 8 by 3 multiplied by C. So C is 0 0.86 plus 8H2. So 8 multiplied by 0 0.1175 plus S. S is 0, so we will take here as a 0. Now bracket complete. So we have to complete this calculation first minus O2. So O2 is 0 0.0225. And here is the bracket. Now whenever we solve this whole question then we will get the answer in kilogram. Because here theoretical air in kilogram that we get. So answer is 13.96 kilogram. So this is the answer of first question. Now we will move for the second question. So second question is mass of products of combustion per kilogram of fuel. So here mass of products of combustion that means we have to write the combustion equation by mass so there are two ways how we can write the combustion equation by volume and by mass but here mass of products of combustion that we have to calculate so we will write the combustion equation so what are the elements of fuel so first element is carbon so when carbon combines with oxygen then it will give us the carbon dioxide so we have to write that is C plus O2 will give us CO2 then there is hydrogen so when hydrogen combines with oxygen it will give us water or we can say H2O so H2 plus O2 it will give us H2 now we have to balance this so H2 plus O2 so oxygen that means we have to take O2 and on the right hand side H2O that we have to write so there are two atoms of oxygen. So on the right hand side we will write 2. Now here 2 multiplied by 2 that is 4 times of H is there. So on the left hand side also we have to write here as a 2. Then this equation is getting balanced. Now we will write this in terms of mass. So mass that means we have to take here atomic mass as well as molecular mass. So carbon is having atomic mass 12. Oxygen that is O2. It is molecular mass 32 and CO2 that is carbon plus oxygen 12 plus 32 that is 44. Now for the combustion of 1 kilogram of fuel. So 1 kilogram of carbon when combines with oxygen then it will give us the CO2. So I will take here 12 by 12 that is 1 kilogram. Then I will divide on both sides by 12. So 32 by 12 which is equal to 44 by 12 so that is 8 by 3 and 11 by 3 so how we can read this for the combustion of 1 kilogram of carbon 8 by 3 kilogram of oxygen is required and it will produce 11 by 3 kilogram of CO2 so these are the products of combustion CO2 that is 11.3 kilogram is the mass of product of combustion of 1 kilogram of carbon then in the same way we will write for H2O. So 2 multiplied by H2 that is it is having molecular mass 2 plus O2 32 and 2 H2O that is H2 that means 2 plus 16 that is 18. So 4 plus 32 it will give us 36 that is if I divide both sides by 4 that is 1 kg plus 8 kg it will give us 9 kg. So how we will read this? For the combustion of 1 kilogram of hydrogen, 
8 kg of oxygen it is required and it will give us the 9 kg of H2O. Now question is that mass of products of combustion. So these are the products of combustion. That is for the combustion of 1 kg of carbon 11.3 kg CO2 is produced. So for the products of combustion I will write 11 by 3 kg multiplied by C plus 9 kg multiplied by H2. So what is the amount of C here? So C if we observe 0 0.86. So we have to write 11 by 3 into 0 0.86 plus 9 kg of H2 that is 9 multiplied by H2 0 0.1175. That is 4.21 kg. So this is the answer. So this, this is the mass of product of combustion for the 1 kg of fuel. Now we will understand the combustion equation of gaseous fuels. That means these fuels are in the form of gas. So first we will take the same example. That is the carbon combines with oxygen and it will form the carbon monoxide. So here is the equation 2C plus O2 and it will give us 2CO. So how to write the equation by volume? So in terms of volume, if we have to write, then here because fuel is in the gaseous form and we have to measure in meter cube. So 2 meter cube of carbon combines with 1 meter cube of oxygen and it will give us the 2 meter cube of carbon monoxide. Now if we observe, here is the 2 times of carbon and that's why we have to take 2 times of meter cube and here one molecule of oxygen is there so we have to take one meter cube and two times of carbon monoxide so we have to take here as a two meter cube so this is the equation by volume that now how to write in terms of mass so for that we have to consider here the atomic mass as well as molecular mass so two times of carbon that is two multiplied by 12 plus o2 that is oxygen is having two atoms that means 16 multiplied by 2 that is 32 and 2 times of CO. So C that is 12 and O that is 16. So 12 plus 16 that is 20. So 2 multiplied by 20. So again we will simplify this. 24 plus 32 gives us 56 and if I divide here both sides by 24 then 1 kilogram plus 4 by 3 kilogram and it will give us 7 by 3 kilogram. Now how I can read this? So for the combustion of 1 kg of carbon, 4 by 3 kg of oxygen is required and it will produce 7 by 3 kg of carbon monoxide. Now in the same way, if this carbon monoxide is further combines with oxygen and it will give us the carbon dioxide. So how we can write? Now we have 2 molecules of carbon monoxide that is 2 meter cube plus 1 meter cube and it will give us 2 meter cube of CO2. Now how we can write this in terms of mass that is here CO that is 16 plus 12 that is 22 multiplied by 20 plus O2 that is 32 and here CO2 C that is 12 plus O2 that is 32 so 12 plus 32 that is 44 2 multiplied by 44. So we will simplify this 56 plus 32 it will give us 80. So if I divide both sides by this first number that is 56 then how I will write for the combustion of 1 kg of carbon monoxide 4 by 7 kg of oxygen is required and it will give us 11 by 7 kg of carbon dioxide. So here instead of molecule we have to take here the meter cube for the gaseous fuel and this is the only difference. Otherwise it is same for the solid as the solid fuel. Now we will understand the composition of air with oxygen. So from this chemical analysis we can easily find out how much oxygen is required for the combustion of 1 kg of fuel. So in the same way we can find out for this combustion of 1 kg of fuel this amount of oxygen is required. But how to calculate the theoretical or minimum volume of air required for the combustion of the gaseous fuel. So for that we have to understand what is the composition of air. So when we measure this composition of air or the oxygen by volume then we have to take here the 
nitrogen as a 79% and oxygen as a 21%. So here is oxygen 21%. So this air is nothing but the combination of nitrogen, oxygen and small amount of carbon dioxide and other gases. So when we take the analysis by volume then we have to consider nitrogen 79% and oxygen 21%. Now what is the formula to calculate the theoretical or minimum volume of air? So here for the gas gaseous fuel we have to take the volume of air. Minimum volume of air required for the complete combustion of 1 meter cube of fuel. So remember when the fuel is in the form of gaseous then we have to take the combustion of 1 meter cube of fuel and we have to find out the volume of air. So we have here formula. So we will understand this formula. Now this fuel is the combination of the number of gases. So maybe uh, there are the gases such as carbon monoxide, hydrogen, methane and then C2H4. And there may be the uh, some oxygen is present in that gaseous fuel. Then here is the formula. So 100 by 21 is the constant number. Inside the bracket we have to take 0 0.5 CO plus 0 0.5 H2 plus 2 CH4 plus 3 C2H4 bracket complete minus O2 meter cube. Now when this oxygen is present in this gaseous fuel then we have to subtract that amount that is minus O2 and then the remaining is the amount of that is the volume of air required for the combustion of fuel. Now we will solve the question for the combustion of gaseous fuel. I will read what is the given question. A producer gas used as a fuel has following volumetric composition H2 28%, CO 12%, CH4 2%, CO2 16% and N2 42%. Find the volume of air required for complete combustion of 1 meter cube of this gas. Air contains 21% by volume of oxygen. So this was the given question. Now let us understand what is the given data. Now H2 is 28%. So this is the volumetric composition is given that is 28 by 100. So 28 by 100 that is 0 0.28 meter cube. CO that is carbon monoxide 12%, 0 0.12 meter cube. CO to 16%, 0 0.16 meter cube. N to 42 percent that is 42 by 100 so 0 0.42 meter cube. Now this is the uh, question for the combustion of gaseous fuel. So when fuel is gaseous then we have to measure the theoretical air in terms of meter cube. So what is the minimum or theoretical air in meter cube is required for the combustion of the 1 meter cube of fuel. So here is the formula. So this formula is 100 by 21 in the bracket 0 0.5 CO plus 0 0.5 H2 plus 2 CH4 plus 3 C2H4 minus O2 meter cube. Now we will put the value. So 100 by 21 is the constant number 0 0.5 multiplied by CO. So CO is given 0 0.12 meter cube plus 0 0.5 H2 so 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.28 plus 2 CH4. So CH4 is not present. So we will write here 0 plus C2H4. So it is also not present. So we will write here 0. So we have to complete this bracket minus O2. Now if we observe oxygen is not present in this gaseous fuel. So here is also we have to take 0. And when we solve this we will get the answer that is 1.143 meter cube. So this is the amount of theoretical error.